symbols. Don't in St. Paul. Mr. Speaker, do you remember the liberal election promise from 2015? Real change for the middle class. It was a, it was a winning election slogan for them. And to give credit where it's due, things have certainly changed for the middle class. Those looking to break into the housing market, for example, have seen the average home price in 2015 of $430,000 go to now over $798,000, Mr. Speaker. And as a result, most young people will never own a home. So is that the real change they were planning for the middle class, Mr. Speaker? Wow. <laughs> the Honourable Minister of Housing. Mr. Speaker, I welcome the opportunity to respond to the important question. This is the change that we implemented. We brought federal leadership back into the housing sector. We brought in the national housing strategy. We brought in the first-time home buyer incentive. We brought in the rapid housing initiative. We brought in the co-investment fund. We brought in the greening homes initiative. And all those measures that helped the middle-class Canadians, what did the Conservatives do? They voted against them each and every single time, Mr. Speaker. I just want to remind the honourable members, although they have masks on, some have very powerful voices, and we want to hear what the minister answers. So I'm going to let the honourable member for Kildonan and St. Paul ask her question. Hopefully she'll be able to hear her answer. The honourable member. You know, all that spending, Mr. Speaker, all that liberal spending, Mr. Speaker, and we've only seen housing prices in Canada become the most expensive in the world. Maybe that's what's influencing it. Hmm. So just as housing has become unaffordable since that fateful 2015 election, so has basic necessities like milk. It's up 12 percent, eggs 14 percent, and baby food, an astounding 79 percent increase since this prime minister took government. And the price of gas was a dollar and three cents back in 2015. Now it's a buck 40. How are people supposed to feed their families, fuel their cars, and get to work on that, Mr. Speaker. Is again, I'll ask again, is this the real change these Liberals were promising the middle class? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. You know, Mr. Speaker, it's interesting for me to hear the Conservatives today criticize government spending. Because I remember just a few months ago on the campaign trail, these Conservatives proposed government spending that was actually higher than what we proposed. In fact, they proposed a $168 billion deficit, while we proposed a $156.9 billion deficit. So I wonder if the party of flip-flops could tell Canadians what they stand for today. The 